Okay, we're all right. Do I get past the yellow way? Yeah. Nope, I'm right up on it. Here we go. Liquor. Maybe we can go in for a drink. Maybe break a few bottles and use them as knives. To look in the corners. Josh Collins. Oh, great. I think it has to be based on the timing. Alright. I got my Wonder Boner and I'm ready to go. Yo, what? That's, it looks like he's holding his boner. Oh. Actually, you want, you want to know something that's really funny, dude? What? There was a product in the 80s that was called the Wonder Boner. Oh, really? It was a fishing tool. Like, uh, it was used to take the bones out of the fish. Like, uh, Nostalgia Critic, he was reviewing a bunch of commercials from the, the worst commercials from the 80s. And, uh... <laughs> The Wonder Boner was one of them. Like these fishermen were going like, the Wonder Boner is amazing. And the other one was like, my wife will love that. Oh wow. Yeah, this down the crew was going like, oh my god, no dear lord, what in the world? Who comes out with the name of these products? <laughs> you cannot even go into a room and say that word with everyone bursting out laughing. And he actually, sh he actually showed him at some uh, convention center. He walked in, in front of everybody he's like, Wonder Barn. And everyone burst out laugh <laughs> laughing. He's like, yep, I know it. The nostalgic critic, he's funny. Yeah, I know. He's kind of like a mixture of uh, Angry uh, Joe mixed with Jeremy Johns. Yeah, like... Like uh, when he talked about like the greatest uh, toy from the 80s, which is probably the greatest toy, which was the greatest toy line of all time for boys. The Ghostbusters toys. Oh, sweet. The Ghostbusters toys were the shit. I'll bet you they're worth a lot of money now, even yeah, if they're in they are. Like, mint condition still in box. They are. They're worth a lot of money. Like, not, I'm not just talking about the members of the Ghostbusters. Actually, the best part about them were the actual ghosts. Like, uh, they showed, like, regular people turned into ghosts. Like, there was a garbage man who was holding a garbage can, but when you lift it up and put it on his head, a ghost pops out at the top. Oh, really? That's cool. But, uh, there was one action figure that was a little weird. It was, uh, when you... Yeah, it looked like just a regular guy, but when you put, like, uh, this item into his back, uh, he, like, spins around. But guess what the worst thing about him was? What? You put it in his ass. Oh, my <laughs> Yep, yes, you, it's a ghost being raped. It's a guy being butt-fucked by a ghost, and he oh. just spins around. Wow! <laughs> Other than that, the Ghostbusters toys were amazing. I think I actually had one. Um, like my uncle gave it to me. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Yo, we should get the Ghostbusters to solve this. This is just insanity and it's, it's inhuman. Like, I'd like to see the Ghostbusters in Silent Hill. I just want to see what would happen. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad, mad parody if they did that. Yeah? Have you ever played the Ghostbusters video game? No, but I've heard of it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Really, uh, what's it like? Is it, um... Uh, I, it's kind of hard to describe. It's pretty good. I, I kind of like it, though. If it's a dog, I'm, I'm taking out the pipe. Or my wonder. <laughs> a wonder boner. 
If it's a bat, I'm my keeping wife the gun. My wife will love that. <laughs> Why did you stop? I did not let go of the D-pad. You had to right. Oh god. I hate bats. Come on, kick him in the throat. I can't. He's in the air. Yeah, you better run. Or fly. Either way. Yeah, but uh, the nostalgia critic, he is funny. Like, I rem You know the uh, 1990s Captain America? Yeah. Well, he interviewed, he reviewed that, and uh, you know the thing with Mr. President? Thanks. Thanks. He did something really funny with that. What he did was uh, when Captain America gave him a thumbs up and said, thanks, he freeze framed that, and then he put up like a, a Mentos sign, and it, and it put it, Mentos, the fresh maker. <laughs> That yeah. was hilarious. Yeah, just watching the movie, like, uh, just to make fun of it is a lot of fun. <laughs> like, like, really, uh, me and Wonderstuff have actually done this once. It, uh, one time we actually did watch, like, a... Me, uh, it was me, Wonderstuff set, Super Loser, and The Assassin. We were all watching, like, uh, like as many bad superhero movies as we could. Just to make fun of him. And it was actually a lot of fun. I remember we watched uh, Batman and Robin. Captain oh, that America, was the worst uh, movie ever. Superman 4. Ah, the It's sad because the original Superman was amazing. Possibly so one of the best Superman movies of all time. Probably one of the best superhero movies of all time next to The Dark Knight. Um, I just want to say um, something funny that the nostalgia critic said. It was, uh, you know how um, uh, in the movie he's tied up to the rocket and then he like redirects the rocket um, by kicking it and then it just flies to Alaska like it just flies over the White House? This is what the nostalgia critic said when that happened. When did this turn into a Daffy Duck cartoon? And then it showed, like, Daffy Duck flying away from Earth on a rocket tree. Ah! And then he just flies over Mars. That was funny. Tee hee. Let's see now, what else? These. Like, whenever they would, uh, label, uh, which area is that, like, Alaska or Washington, D.C., he would complain about it and say, Oh, thank you, movie. It's like we do not know. It's like we never took history or geography in our life. Well, uh, there's some. Well, the I think the movie was targeted for kids, so. Yeah, and then when it focused on Jerome, uh, uh, it showed Rome, and then uh, he was saying, and then Risco, and then they labeled Rome, and he was like, "Oh, you movie, seriously? Why do you do that?" I. How can nobody know where we are or something? So where to? Okay, Silent Hill, Silent Hill, Silent Hill. The movie sucked. Silent Hill. Did I stop again? Why do I always stop automatically? Eh, it's just the controls. Do, do, do. How could snow be so scary? <sighs> Frosty? Man, don't wonder what Fro Frosty's snowman would be like in this war in Silent Hill. He'd probably be one of those scary Happy demonic snowmen. Happy Devil's Day! Ugh. Faces? I can't go in there, and that's a nurse, a clinic. I'm just wasting ammo. There. Mm. Bookstore? I was going just with the hell of it. 
You don't suppose they have any Full Metal Alchemist in there, do you? Maybe, maybe. Wait, when was this game made? 1999? No. So now what, what do they got? Please tell me they got Soul Eater at least. No. Oh, come on, I'm just making a joke. I know when Soul Eater and Silent Hill were made. I'm not stupid. Alright. But you know what? Let's go ahead and check just just for fun. I can't. It's locked. Damn. Wait a minute. It's all right. They're glass doors. No one's around. Why don't you just break the glass? Cause I can't. The game won't let me. Well, they should give you the option to free roam. Go go into places. And Who stuff. knows? They might make a Silent Hill RPG where. You can do whatever you want or something. Yeah, I think Silent Hill's failing. I actually want to play Homecoming. Well, I hear like a uh, home. The new uh, Silent Hill games. It's only fun if you were like a uh, if you played and understood every single Silent Hill game and you followed the entire story. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm starting with the uh, first game, and then we'll go on to the yeah, second I, game. Yeah, I cannot tell if Homecoming was a prequel or a sequel. If it was a prequel, a prequel to which one? Well, you never know. You gotta look up, and if you still can't figure it out, it's all there's always Wikipedia. True. Yeah, people keep saying Wikipedia lies, but when it comes to video games and movies... They do not. Oh no. It's getting dark again. It's getting scary in here. The demons are coming out. 